Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Ogre Battle 64, Person of Lord of the Caliber, all the cutscenes. Today we're headed back to uh, Castle Alba. Let's see what's going on. Last time we learned that uh, the general was sacrificing soldiers to the netherworld to, like, conjure up ogres and all this crap. So, looks like we chose the right side, at least. The Central Division has taken the slaughter of the reinforcements at the Dardanelles as a mutiny by the Southern Division. Wasn't the Southern Division the general following the Central Division's orders? We have no idea why General Gaudeslis decided to involve those monsters. But it's certain that the Central Region is worried about Lotus. If they learn that Palatinus was employing monsters, nothing can be said if they consider this kingdom as a land of pagans. The entire Southern Division was cut off to emphasize to emphasize that the Central Region took no part in the incident. Cut off, huh? Troops have been dispatched to control the chaos created by the monsters. Most of them, including Destin and his company, were sent to this region. We're on our own against the Southern Division. Alada in the south will be our embark embarkation point. Aka Castle, a half day's march north of Alada, is our objective. We must take the castle. Even though it was abandoned by the central region, the southern division is a force to be reckoned with. I'm also concerned about General Gadeslis's intentions. We must stay alert. Regardless of why, this is a perfect opportunity for us. I want to meet the expectations of our sympathizers, and, and the Revolutionary Army that took us in. Inform everyone to prepare for battle. Absolutely. Shit! How could this happen? Even I was branded as an insurgent. I guess it's the end of your career. You did quite well for yourself, don't you think? Sir Baldwin! What have you done? No. You. You deceived me. What did I do? You had your chance. You just didn't put your power to good use. For those vile abominations, I... my family was... Silence! It was you who made up your mind to sacrifice your family. You willingly sacrificed your own family to save yourself, and now you dare blame me for your misdeeds? It turned out that this was all you were capable of. I'm sure you're glad to know that you were of good use to us. This was a very valuable case to examine. We learned that someone with little desire, like yourself, can only gain so much from the fruit of the netherworld. I'm afraid I must be going now. Did you finally realize that you can't do anything without our counsel? Are you angry at me? Or at yourself? Shut up that rage. Strike back at the revolutionary army. Perhaps you can gain the power too. Magnus, if only you hadn't betrayed me. What meaning did my life hold? You can't imagine what I went through for this. Do you understand my pain? Do you have anything that you protect at all costs, even if you had to sacrifice your own family? Ugh! I will reach the top. Well done, Magnus. Frederick, did we do the right thing? Many were hurt. The entire kingdom and the Lotus Empire are against us. 
the hatters will intensify, and so will the number of casualties. And that's not all. We haven't got the slightest clue as to what those monsters are. All shrouded in a mystery. Can we... Can the Revolutionary Army overcome these obstacles? Honestly, we're in a very difficult situation. But Magnus, don't you think that the important thing now is to do our best? You refuse to respond when faced with a difficult problem. You only act when a solution is obvious. The future, our future, is yet to be told. Listen, Magnus, the people's cheers. What we do know is that the cheers that you hear, the rejoicing, is the result of what we've done. A few days after the liberation of the southern region, the triumvirate of the Holy Lotus Empire ordered the King of Platinus to eliminate the Revolutionary Army. The King sent orders to both the Eastern and Western Divisions. Two months later, immediately after the appointment of the new general, the Western Division advanced on Alba. After a number of skirmishes, the full-scale battle between the Western Division and the Revolutionary Army is thought to take place in the near future. Although the Eastern Orthodox Church received the same instructions, it chose to remain silent in the matter. Chapter 2. In a world shrouded in darkness, no path can be found. My lord, we should go back. Oh, Inkaseth, that's, uh, Magnus' father. Inkaseth, what is my father's intention? What am I to do in witness? He wants me to fight Lotus? What should I do? How can I gain his approval? There you are, my lord. I've been looking for you. I beg your pardon for being late. This is to commemorate your appointment as general. Please accept this holy sword of the royal family. I brought this maiden to take care of your personal needs. Though she is of humble origins, I believe she is suitable to serve you in both age and features. What? What is your name? Mary Collin, at your service, my lord. Why? I know you. Who are you? Ah! An earthquake? Oh, it seems the gods have taken a liking of our new general as well. An earthquake, they must live in Nevada too. Southern region, Aka Castle.
still no activity at the Eastern Orthodox Church. The Central Division is keeping a close watch over the area, presumably to prevent us from making contact with them. The Eastern Region, led by the Eastern Orthodox Church, has opposed the Central Region in the past. It can't be helped. They seem to have no intention of following the Central Region, but it's hard to say if they'll be on our side or against us. I see. What's the status of the Western Division? Since the appointment of Prince Yumil as commander of the Western Division, the troops have advanced to the border five times. This is the largest force that we have yet encountered. They will most likely start advancing towards us in the next few days. The Western Division bears its fangs at last. There's no way we can avoid this battle. Like in the Southern Region, there is an area in the Western Region in which people are enslaved. Why don't we liberate them and join forces? Are you talking about the mining facility in Advera Heights? Most of them are Bomalkins. The Holy Lotus Empire will surely respond in kind. Nice and convenient for us, isn't it? Let them handle the Western Division and Lotus. A little give and take. Zevek! How can you say that? Are you suggesting that we use the Bulmalkins? I thought our goal was to abolish the class system and declare independence from the Holy Lotus Empire. If that's true, then the Bulmalkins should be our allies, not a tool to serve our purpose. Shut up! So what if your operation was, was a success? You've got no right to talk shit to me. My only concern is achieving our goal, winning this war. We set the Bomalkins free, and they help us in return. Is that wrong? We don't use them. We fight together with them. It's all for victory. It's important to win battles, but that's not our goal. Winning battles allows us to quickly achieve our goals, but the only thing that we would, that we would gain would be short-lived peace. Then tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do. We can't contact the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Western Division is only a few days away, the Central Division is fast on our heels, and to top it all off, there's Lotus! Talking about ideals doesn't improve our situation. What? You gonna kill us all? We're gonna fight them anyway. Pushing them back to the Western Region isn't enough. We should advance into their territory. We free the Belmalkins while we're at it, and prepare for Lotus' attack. It's all for the sake of the Revolution. You have a problem with this, Frederick? Magnus, head west to stop the advancement of the Western Division. And I want others on standby. I'll contact each of you later about the plan. Do you still have something to say to me? Frederick, you're our leader. You understand, right? My job is to slay our foes. What's your job? Is it to pursue ideals, or to live in reality? Make up your mind, will ya? You'll understand eventually the reality of it all. The reality that we have to face. Wow. Interesting. Looks like next time on Ogre Battle 64 Personal Vote of the Caliber, We'll be heading back to Mylesia. I'll see you guys then. Have a good day.